Good afternoon and welcome. Again, my name is John. I'm off in Car Garage and I'm located in Abington, Massachusetts, and that's about 20 minutes south of Boston. Purposely waited for the sun to shine to profile this rare Cadillac Coupe de Ville from the year 1993. And why I needed to wait for the sun to shine was to profile its outstanding, rare, and unique color combination. Certain light takes on a different hue, and I really needed the sun to shine to show the real beauty in this car. Cadillac called the upper paint on this car taupe, and I think that does this car a serious, serious injustice. To me, taupe is light brown. This is far from that. This is a metallic I believe this is a fire mist paint color. You might be able to correct me on that out there, the Cadillac people, but uh, definitely looks like a fire mist to me. And it has an obvious lavender hue to it. The reason why I know that it definitely has a lavender hue, if you can't see that already in the video, is that Cadillac called these lower claddings dark plum. So this is a, this is a very deep, purple down below from the factory with this what they called taupe upper pink uh, application taupe again would not be a word i would describe this but that's what cadillac did as you can see there is a definite lavender hue to this paint absolutely outstanding 1993 marked the last year for this generation cadillac this front wheel drive full-size vehicle that began life in 1985. Slowly, the vehicles were improved year over year. In 1991, the uh, V8 was changed to the 4.9 liter V8, which this vehicle is equipped with. And the 4.9 has proved to be a very reliable engine on these cars as they age. Definitely one of the engines you'd wanna have in your 90s Cadillac. The early uh, edition of this car would have had that controversial 4100. This does not have the 4100. This has the 4.9 V8. 1993 was the last year for this generation, as I mentioned. And it was also the last year Cadillac would ever have what they called a Coupe de Ville. So this is the last, last Coupe de Ville ever built by Cadillac. Not the last, but the last model. It is a rare car, however. Um, only, I've got it written down here, excuse my notes. 4,711 Coupe de Villes were built in 1993. Only 4,711. Several more sedans were built. Several more de Ville sedans were built than Coupes, obviously. Standard equipment on this car, I read, was a full vinyl roof. This car had the optional half vinyl roof and i read that just over 1100 of these cars were equipped as such as we talked about the color only about 275 total cars total coupe de villes were built in this outstanding and beautiful color combination just absolutely outstanding car is also equipped you'll notice with these really cool factory alloy wheels and some cooper trend center white walls you'll have the fiber optic displays here on the top of the fenders which is sort of a cadillac trademark and those do indeed operate uh, as designed everything in this car works as designed actually and we will get in and do a quick review of the interior but i just kind of wanted to bring you around the exterior this is original paint as far as we can tell there's no reason to think otherwise couple of minor little scratches that you'd expect this car has lived a very privileged life it was sold new in sarasota florida by a couple that used to snowbird to florida from oregon and it was used as their Florida car. Eventually, the couple got too old to drive the car in Florida, and the car was then shipped to Oregon, where it became the uh, owner's son or grandson's vehicle, and sparingly used. Couple of little nicks here, the very front edge of the hood. I mean, I'm being fussy, but I want you to see everything. Beautiful chrome, nice clean headlights. So the car spent a short stint in Oregon before it went to its third owner 
in Palm Springs. And in Palm Springs, it was used as a collector vehicle, car shows, pleasure cruises, things like that. So the car has always been incredibly well-maintained, babied, and of course has never seen a flake of snow and probably very little rain. I'm gonna get inside now and show you the inside. The interior is outstanding and it has come to my attention that this interior was also called taupe. And if you look, I mean, it's so difficult to show in the camera, but there's a little hue of lavender even to this. Absolutely impeccable interior. The headliner has been replaced by its previous owner. So it's got a really good headliner. It's not uncommon to find a vehicle from this generation with a sagging headliner. Nothing to be worried about here. Back seat like it's never been sat in. Original factory floor mats. Outstanding condition all around. See, normally I don't like to film in the direct sun because it shows all these crazy shadows, but it really with this car, it was a necessity. Nice, nice door panels. Some minor chipping here on this control panel plate, as you'll see. That's really, really about it. Just really, really nice. As you'd expect, it's a very clean and rust-free car. There's pictures of that proven on my website undercarriage and all so we'll get inside you're, you're wondering what the mileage is on the car 66,635 66,635 miles it's original miles backed up on the carfax report that we hold for the car of course i don't have the keys the ignition so i apologize for that but we want to start the car up Beautiful running car. Everything works in the car is designed. Glove box has its original owner's manual kit. Radio, power antenna. So when we say our 75th anniversary sales event is a big deal, we know what we're talking about. Drive away in a brand new Volkswagen. Our antenna goes up as it should. So no issues there. Turn that off before a song comes on and I got to pay somebody copyright. Uh, electronic climate control works flawlessly. The air conditioning is no issue. You've got your um, information center over here. The data center and the eight gallons of, of gas in the fuel tank, Twilight Sentinel. Everything works as designed. You have no issues there. The power windows and the power seats and the power door locks. Everything works as designed as you'd expect for a car of this caliber. Also, while I'm thinking of it, I'm gonna pop the trunk. I'll do that first before I forget. I mean, just as you'd expect, a really well-sorted, clean trunk compartment with the accessory mat. Oh, and look at that. One of your California license plates to prove that this car spent time in Palm Springs. That plate should stay with the car as far as I'm concerned. That's really cool. I didn't see that the first time I was in here. So really nice engine, engine bay, spare tire compartment, very clean. And there's the original spare tire, presumably never on the ground. That's your trunk compartment. There's absolutely no rust on this car whatsoever anywhere. Paint's been completely paint corrected. There's a little chip here. I mean, I just want you to see everything. Power pull down. All set. While I'm thinking of it, the rear air shocks in this car have been recently replaced. The fuel injectors have been replaced in this car. That's the one weak spot. On these 4.9s is the fuel injectors. They've been replaced. Nice, well-sorted, clean engine bay. That 4.9 V8 that proved to be very, very reliable for Cadillac. Took some time, but they got there. <laughs> 4.5, I believe, preceded this. And before the 4.5 was, of course, the 4100. 
We won't go down the street on the 4100 and its pros and its cons and its fans and its detractors. I'll leave that up to you guys. I will say, however, for as much as a bad rap the 4100 motor gets, there's a heck of a lot of them still on the road, so they couldn't have been all that bad. But admittedly, the 4.9 would be the engine I'd prefer as well. So there you have it. 4711 Coupe de Ville's built in 1993. We have one right in front of us. Only about 275 of them built in this unbelievably stunning, I don't even want to call it taupe, lavender. I'm going to call it light lavender fire mist. Cadillac can be mad at me all they want. And that really cool and beautifully done dark plum lower cladding. Just an outstanding car to drive regularly in good weather. Take it to a Cadillac show. This is the generation of cars that are becoming more and more popular as our generation of collectors gets younger, so to speak. Just a beautiful car. You'd be hard pressed to find a better one. Orphan Car Garage pricing on this 1993 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, $13,900, $13,900. If you need a quote for transportation, message me below. Check the photos on our website, the full gallery of photos at orphancargarage.com. Like us on Facebook and of course subscribe and like to us here, like us here on YouTube. This is where we profile all our new inventory and cool cars that are for sale. Every car that needs a new home is an orphan to us. So don't tell me this car is not an orphan. I know it's not an orphan brand. Cadillac's still around. You don't need to remind me of that, but this is an orphaned car and the fact that it needs a new home. Give me a call, 508-954-8090. And again, check my website, orphancargarage.com. I don't expect this car to last too long. Thank you for your support. And until the next ride, have a good one.